Hey, good morning. Uh, it's Mark here. With another morning rant. Time on deck is 509. I've been up since 4, so I again searching the searching the net, searching the web. Um I found something. Didn't take too long. I wasn't gonna report I wasn't gonna report on this because I hate talking about Joe Manchin. I hate talking about Christian Cinema. I think they're two uh I think they're two Dinos, uh Democrats in name only. Um Christian Cinema, well at least Joe Manchin is out there saying what he want, what he don't want. He's not being specific, but he's saying what he don't he want and don't want. Christian Cinema is not saying anything. Uh, she recently had five staffers, five veterans, uh, uh, military vet staffers leave her employment, uh, leave her advisory board because they don't, they feel like she's catering more to donors than she are to her people. And they're saying that they shouldn't have to pay for her time. So she's had, she has to deal with that. And then she is just recently reported that she came out and supported some of the tax, the taxing uh, ideas that Joe Biden has as far as getting his agenda across but let me show you what Senator Manchin is doing and when I saw this I was like no way no freaking way no way um, on the 20 on the 20th uh, that was Wednesday I think um, yeah Wednesday it, it only took a day on Wednesday um, um, I can't, uh, her show is called The Readout, but I can't remember her first name. Good Lord, forgive me. Joy Reid. Thank you, Joy Reid. Joy Reid reported from Mother Jones, David Cornett. David Corn. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let it play through, but they reported that Joe Manchin had a plan to where he would exit the Democrat Party and become an independent. He was still caucus with the Democrats, but he would technically be an independent. That way, that, that way he can go either way because it, it seems like he, he's hurting the Democrat agenda. And by Joe Manchin being a Democrat, it makes them look bad. So by him just coming out to be an independent, it'll make it seem like, OK, I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican, so I can go either way. You see what I'm saying? And that won't that technically technically won't hurt the Democrats. But it still hurt the Democrats because then they won't have a fifty plus one majority. So let's go to the reporting. Let's go to what he said and then let's go to what he said yesterday on Thursday that just blew everything up. I knew this guy. I knew this guy was like this. Democrats continue to negotiate amongst themselves over President Biden's Build Back Better bill. David Korn reports in Mother Jones that Senator Joe Manchin is telling associates he's considering leaving the Democratic Party if he doesn't get his way on the bill and has even devised the, what that exit plan would look like. David Korn joins me now and Adam Gentleson and Juanita Tolliver are back with me. All right, David, explain what this alleged exit plan would look like. Well, he described this as being two steps. The first step is that he would send a letter to Chuck Schumer, the Democratic Senate leader, and remove himself or resign from a Democratic leadership post. People don't know these things, but he's vice chairman of the Democratic Senate Committee on Policy and Communications. I'm sure Adam knows all about this stuff, but he's one of the top 10 Democratic senators. So he would remove himself from that. He then would wait a week to see if that had any impact, presumably help him win whatever he's trying to get out of the negotiations. And then after that, he would change his registration from Democrat to independent. And he would call himself an American independent. That's how he would describe himself. It's not a new party, and it's not going over to the Republicans. And then the question is, which uh, hasn't been addressed, whether he would caucus with the Democrats or the Republicans. Presumably still caucus with the Democrats the so way that Angus King and Bernie of Maine and, and Bernie Sanders of Vermont do. But still, as an independent, he would have more influence, more sway. And I think you know this would be somewhat of a symbolic blast. And of course, it will lead a lot of political reporters to talk about disarray among Democrats. So right. it's quite clear that this is what he was thinking of doing. But today, he called the report BS. He did. Uh, Pay attention to this. <coughs> and 
he knows it. He knows what we know. Let, let and, me and let so me. I think he took his option off the table by saying that. Let, let me let me play what he said. Let me let me play him saying it himself. Here's here's Senator Manchin. I can't control rumors and it's bullshit. Bullshit spell with a B U L L capital B. Now, now let's stop right there. Let's stop right there because the reporting was the reporting was that if he don't get his way, the first thing he's going to do is he's going to resign from his his position as a leader in the Democrat Party. Right. And then he'll wait a week. He let the news cycle play out for a week. He let the negotiations play out for a week. If he don't get his way after a week, he would then switch his his party affiliation from Democrat to independent. Now, this is the reporting and Mother Jones and all those guys, they've said that. Um, David Corn, I said Corn, and Corn is the senator. David Corn from Mother Jones, who's an excellent reporter, he got it, he got it spot on. So much so that when they started hounding him about it, he said it was bull. He spelled it out. He said it was bull. He said that that reporting was wrong. That reporting is inaccurate, and he sounded upset about it. Right. So let's go to what he. Let's, let's 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 watch this. Anything that was ever said that we never talked about? Do anything that was ever said that we never talked about? If I'm an embarrassment to my uh, my Democrat colleagues, my caucus, uh, the president being the Democrat, the leader of the Democrat Party, Chuck Schumer, and all them, and I said me being a a moderate centrist Democrat, if that causes you a problem, let me know, and I'd switch to be an independent, but I'd still be caucusing with Democrats. So, so which is it, Joe? Which is it, Joe Manchin? <laughs> is it bullshit or not? You, they reported it, right? They reported what you said that you will caucus with you will caucus with the Democrats, but you will you will be independent. You just called it bullshit. You just called it BS. The reporting was, the reporting was you would do this in phases. You would first resign. You first resign from your leadership positions. And if that didn't work, you go ahead and move over to becoming independent. You, ca you called it bull. You said it was wrong. You said it was false reporting. Now, just one day later on the 21st, you're going out saying that you would leave. You just blew up your whole plan of resigning your positions first for a week until you get what you wanted. You just blew that whole plan up and said, hey, okay, if I'm if I'm being a distraction, I'll just leave. Because the reporting's already out there and you're gonna get hounded for it. I knew it. I freaking knew it. You are a you are a Republican. You've always been a Republican. You just you just never had the power to to show your Republicanism. And now that you got a 50-50 Senate, you get to show off your Republicanism. You've always been a Republican. And they used to praise you. They used to kiss your ass because you was a Democrat in a Republican state. And they used to kiss your ass because you kept winning. But you won because you was a moderate. You played the moderate role, but you was technically a Republican. But you played the moderate role. And now that it's been exposed, you want to leave. You want to quit. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna escape. You wanna, and and how about this? Democrats are gonna hate you. Republicans are not gonna trust you because um, he tried to do a voting rights bill. Just recently, he tried to do a voting rights bill. He said that okay, the, the Republicans don't want to negotiate with the Democrats on the voting rights bill, so let me write my own. I'm a moderate. I'm a centrist. I'm in the middle. I can appeal to both sides. Let me write it. So he went out and wrote it, put it on the floor. Guess what happened? Not one Republican voted for his bill. Not one. And I know he felt stupid. So Democrats are going to hate you. Republicans are not going to trust you. And you're going to be a long, a, a long rabbit in the Senate. And go ahead and take your ass back to go ahead and go back to West Virginia with that independent crap and watch what happens. Republicans, uh, they're going to flood. Democrats are going to flood you with uh, with Democrat candidates. You're not going to have the backing of the Democrat Party in West Virginia. The Republican Party is not going to trust you. So where are you going to be? Where are you going to be? This, 
we cannot blame Biden for this. We cannot blame Biden for this. We have been put in a situation where Democrats have a 50-50 Senate. This is not on Biden. This is on Joe Manchin. This is on Christian Cinema because the 3.5 trillion that they don't like, it used to be seven trillion. They cut it in half. He he wants. He, he, here's the thing. They passed a bipartisan 1.5 trillion dollar infrastructure plan in the Senate. It's already been passed. It's down in the House right now. The House saying we won't take that up until you guys agree to the 3.5 trillion dollar. Infra larger infrastructure plan. So the, the 1.5 plus the 3.3.5. 3 we're we're we'll vote for that if the Senate vote for this. The Senate is saying we won't vote for that. The Senate is Democrat, uh, controlled by the Democrats. It's 50-50 plus one. Uh, uh, the vice president can break the tie. All the all the Democrats got to do is approve the damn bill. But Christian Sinema and Joe Manchin are blocking the 3.5. He's saying. You guys approve my 1.5 trillion, and then I'll approve. I will agree to listen to your 3.5. And the, Dem the Democrats in the House are saying bullshit. We don't want to approve that. We don't want to vote for that because you hadn't agreed to vote for this, and so that's pissing him off. He's telling them approve my bill first. And then we'll approve your bill. And the House is saying no. We're gonna roll all this stuff together. We'll approve all this together. So now he wants to leave the party. I told you, Joe Manchin cannot be trusted. I told you guys that. He blocked He blocked some of Biden's appointees. He's blocking Biden's agenda. And now he wants to leave the party and claim to be an independent, but caucus with the Democrats. He's full of crap. I told you this was going to happen. I knew it. I freaking knew it. And I wait. I didn't want to report on that because I'm like, all right, it's just Joe Biden. When I saw that first the Joy Reid report, I was like, yeah, that's just Joe Manchin being Joe Manchin. We don't know if that's accurate or not. Or not. And he came out and said it right here. He came out and said it that it's bull crap. So, okay, well, we got to take him at his word. But here he is right now on the next day on the other side of his mouth saying that he would do it, that he would switch to be independent. He called it bull crap one day and agreed to it the next day. I told you Joe Manchin cannot be trusted. But the Democrats got to kiss his ass anyway because he hold the key to them getting their agenda passed. I'm going to leave it at that, people. I'm going to make this one short. I proved my point. Dropped the mic. Don't want to break it, so I'm not going to drop it. Hey, today's Friday. You guys have a great day. Have a great... Just just try to have a great day. Hope you guys, hope, hope you guys had a great week. And I will see you on the next one, all right? Y'all take care. I'm out. I knew it. I freaking knew it. <laughs>